testing one two three how's that is that better okay <clears throat> that's off the camera over my shoulder the sounds good though the headphones were not working great all right let's go ahead and start Killer Kovacs, am I going to the Natural History Museum today? I think you're talking about the one in San Diego. Um, no, I'm in LA. I don't go to San Diego until next week. How many of you all are going to San Diego Comic Con? It's going to be an interesting show this year, right? With the writer strike and SAG, the actors striking, their activities around promoting productions that they're involved in. Uh, are limited, and by limited, I said forbidden. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what panels get traction. Almost like a comic show again. Yes, almost, almost. All right, look, let's acknowledge some people. I don't know why my voice cracked right there, but. Um, it's weird doing this without headphones. I feel a little like naked. Um, tooth, uh, we need an update. Is, Crip is Crispy still a bastard? Goes without saying. Um, Buddha Finger, 1974, three years already. Yeah, three, three years for you. But the stream has been going on for like five years or something crazy like that, I think, right? Are we approaching our fifth anniversary? Can someone tell me in chat? I'm always like years off. Like we celebrated the fifth anniversary three years ago. Next month, yes. All right. So we have some mods to acknowledge. I saw crispy egg roll and PK. I don't know. Will Bruce Art returns? I haven't seen him in a long time. Huh? Oh, we're, the, the, six years? Oh, <laughs> skip that important fifth year anniversary. That shows you what I know. Um, okay, let's see what else. Trevor Kai, thank you very much for the resub. Golf Boy Sunday, good seeing you yesterday. Blair Send, PJ Beiser, uh, Rose One, Spenny G, Golden Hands One, Bobby Jones, and Pima, Why He, Crispy Egg Roll. Oh, Kirihiko is here. She just resubbed. Good to see you, Kirihiko. Mod Prime. A purple lightsaber. D. Calvin, Twin One Two, Daniel J. Bosco, and VZA in the house. Been a while since I've been able to join the live stream. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. It's uh, forgotten how to do this. Um, but I do remember some of the cool stuff that came out of it. Some of the art, uh, like just funny pieces of art that I just would never have drawn. And so I think to me, like, that's the appeal of all this so um, I don't know what <clears throat> I was looking at some ideas and and uh, one thing I had pulled up is Barbie I'm looking at all these images of Barbie but I don't know if I can pull that off Uh, IP artist Jim, does the strike affect the artists at Warner uh, DC Warner Brothers at all? Uh, no. So the comic book industry are not part of the uh, Writers Guild or the Actors Guild. Um, although there are some comic book writers that are members because they've branched out from comics into other media as well. I want to watch both Barbie and Oppenheimer for sure. Barbie Heimer. I don't think I can do that. That's too much movie going one day. Like <clears throat> it would be too jarring. Alright. So let's let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and start. Um, yeah. What's a character that's kinda interesting? What are we drawing today?
Morton, Phil, Moon Knight, Miles Morales, Wendigo, Bane, Rogue. Let's see. And then, you know, I had started a Metamorpho, too. Where? You know what? Let's go ahead and finish up the Metamorpho. There we go. I knew I had something going on. And, uh, sort of as a warm up, and I'll think about what else. Uh, Costume, correct. Um, so that's gonna be black. I guess this is metal. Okay. That's just to remind me it's metal. <clears throat> and this looks like it's mud or something. Is something else. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Um, different people have done different things, and, and technically, it doesn't matter. I mean, if he can turn his body into whatever element, um, I don't think he's limited by the quadrants of his body. But I do want to keep the colors consistent, or the, the shading, as it were. So I need to get. Uh, some ink over here. So I did a panel, or yeah, I did an appearance at, I uh, haven't done that many this year to date, or it doesn't feel like that many. I um, was in Denver recently, and as I was doing the panel, I was just going like, oh, I'm so rusty. I, it, this does not feel like what panels used to feel like back in the day, pre-COVID. And it wasn't, you know, it's, it, it wasn't about the audience or the crowd or, it was just really about the energy, I guess, the spiel. I, I don't know. I gotta figure something out quick <laughs> in a week. Um, In terms of, I think this almost looks like it's rock, rock, yeah, but 
the way I've done the hand is not rock, it's more like metal. So I'm going to have to adjust the uh, hand there. I know why I picked Metamorpho here. It's just a fun character to draw, just because he his limbs can change shape, texture, uh, appearance, state, gas, solid, liquid. And as you can tell, I'm just I'm really drawing with the ink. Seeing what looks good. I'm sure I had a clearer sense of what was black and what's not black when I penciled this <clears throat> or inked it initially. Kind of hold that in short-term memory as you're going along. And then obviously because I haven't worked on this for a while, kind of like what was going to be black, what was it not, whether I'm doing back shad <clears throat> backlighting, side lighting, all those kinds of things. I forgot. But let, oh yeah, let's talk about San Diego. And I think I asked some of you, I asked all of you who was going. Uh, got a couple cool things announced that Bat Cowl uh, exclusive, a DCUI exclusive. Any Bat Cowl holders, DCUI members here. Uh, there's going to be a stream get together. Detail for the uh, for the folks that uh, sub. Check out uh, the Discord channel that's linked to this um, stream platform, whatever. Just having fun with this brush. Just big chunky square shadows. Kind of Kirby, Kirby, Mignola kind of type. Chunking out shadows into graphic shapes. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Certainly a lot of fun when you're working with uh, straight black and white pieces rather than color. Other pieces. Alright, and let's see. That could probably be black in here. Okay. Core shadow there, that like, kind of S-shaped thing. It's just something you memorize, but it basically creates the illusion of two bumps here, the kneecaps over the <clears throat> the ends of the bones that are in your calf and your and your femur, which is in your thigh. different textures sort of loosely holding the brush over the paper as I go along. But getting back to San Diego, we got uh, all our mods are coming. Crispy, PK, Kirihiko. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see how it all goes. What are you guys looking forward to seeing at this year's show? For those of you who are attending. The Conquer 28. Our portfolio is still a good way to break in? Yeah, yeah. 
but you can also do it uh, just sharing your work online, you know, via email, although a lot of people won't necessarily respond to that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do the background too. Um, okay, hold on a second. Got some folded up tissue paper here. kind of how these random kind of gnarly edge textures make for some awesome smoke. And we'll go over the figure a little bit down here, which I'll show in a second. I'll go in with white out and sort of clean that up. there. I Chung 32, I gave you a shoulder massage. All right. <laughs> kind of paper am I using? This is a Strathmore Bristol board, smooth surface, 9 inches by 12 inches. Pretty standard, you can buy it at any art store, online. Okay, now, I kind of like the way it is with the black right there. Rather than going all black in here, just have that black element in the center. So let's go ahead and use the white out here to sort of reclaim the foreground element with the legs. And then we'll decide what we're going to do with the rest of the uh, the background after that. I want to react to what we just created in real time. Okay. that dry a little bit. Trevor Kai, tell us about the Hex backpacks. Yeah, 2.0, yeah. Um, they might have already released a teaser. Let me check. Check out this new phone. Pixel, uh, Pixel Fold. I wanted to sort of a toy, right? So, I was going to just show you my pin here. Look, here's a shot of Deathstroke. Google Deathstroke. Um, let's see. Um, what, are we gonna, what are we Googling? Oh, Hex Backpacks. You know what? Um, I said they were going to put out a teaser of some sort. Let me make sure. Let's see if it's up. Good enough. 
No, not yet. I can't share much yet, Trevor, uh, other than there will be some uh, new hex backpacks. See, those are the ones I co-designed with John Domayan. They're designed exclusively to carry around comic books, graded comic books, bagged comic books at a Comic Con. And uh, they're releasing some limited numbers um, for sale on the floor, I think Friday and Saturday of the show. Uh, and uh, I'll be signing. And, and there's some that I sketched on that are also being sold as well. So there's details to come. Just keep following socials and here as well. Uh, Toll Booth 10. I can't remember what year it was, 2010, 2012-ish, right after a Jim Lee panel. He ended up finishing an auction sketch at a table in the sales pavilion. A few of us joined at the table and got to watch him live. Oh, you guys are sharing your sort of favorite or some of your cooler con memories. I don't know how cool that is, but <laughs> uh, I don't want to oversell myself. But I remember that, too. I think it was a... Wolverine piece I was finishing up. It was for Gail Simone. I think she was running an auction, a charity auction of some sort. I'm pretty sure. And I, I had promised her that drawing. And so, um, yeah. Hey, David Peterson, creator of Mouse Guard. Nice. Usagi. TM, 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 and T. All right, this is dry over here. All right, let's, let's get back to it. All right. Kind of mangle that leg a little bit. Let's pull it in. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to lightly erase it. There's a lot of little, just little lines all about. I want to kind of clean it up a little bit, I, but I still want to leave some of the pencil lines there. I, I like how that looks. It makes it feel more real. Makes it look more like an original rather than a print per se. And it, to me, it, it, it underscores the sketchiness of it. Not that it is sketch, but that uh, it was, uh, you know, it's handcrafted piece of art. You can see the process in the final piece. You can see the underdrawing, the inking, the whiteout. It's all very tactile at the same time, too. Now go ahead and put some new ink back in here. Just kind of darken up these. Uh, the only th thing about the Kleenex effect is that it gives you a pretty dilute black. It's not as opaque or as pure as you would get if you just used a brush that so go in sometimes like this. Um, any other cool con memories? Let me see. I'll, I'll share some of mine actually with you guys. Man, I really should have been taking notes. Probably have a lot more memories than I remember. Well, I definitely have more things that have happened in my life than I remember. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, Spence New 52, my wife and I met Jim at uh, C2E2 2018. We had in line for five hours. That's crazy. Uh, crazy, I mean, I, honored that you are, but it's a crazy long amount of time. I'm not saying you're crazy. <laughs> totally worth it. <clears throat> um, Heroes Con, back in 1994. Grant Slap. Grant's Lap. Yeah, man, that was a long time ago. Random things, uh, Comic-Con, 
uh, I think I've shared this on stream before, but like um, got an elevator. I think uh, River was <clears throat> just a year old or less than a year, just born. And so, um, no, she must have been she was born December. So she was seven months. And this was um, 10 years ago. And Anthony Bourdain had done that graphic novel for us, that Vertigo graphic novel, Get Hero. And uh, he was just in the elevator with us at the Hard Rock, uh, riding on the way down. And um, my wife Carla was holding River, and, and Anthony Bourdain kind of was standing behind my wife, and she, he kind of leaned over and smelled River. And it's like, oh, new baby smell. <laughs> Nothing like it in the world. So um, it was very sweet. It, it's the way I tell the story. It sounds like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Fava beans <laughs> with Chianti, you know, it wasn't that that nutty. Um, and then, you, you know, you just wander around after hours, you ran into, run into random people. I remember meeting J.J. Abrams for the first time and uh, uh, bumped into uh, Kevin Smith and just random, you know, but, and that's kind of the cool thing about San Diego. It's like it takes over that whole downtown area. Everyone's kind of locked into that one area, and all the events are on different streets and blocks. And so you you, you have people moving around all hours of the day. Anyway, um, Okay. And there's other stories to share. Uh, I was just kind of running through one in my head, but I, I'm going to save it because uh, there's a piece of art attached to that story. It's maybe for a future stream. And there will be future streams. I've just been traveling a lot this summer. And it's been a thing. Uh, oh, you know, I, I will, yeah, let me, yeah, I'll get into that a little bit why I've been kind of MIA on the streaming front. Uh, And where I was recently, I was in Michigan. Any people here uh, come to that store signing I did? I did a store signing the other week, last week, last Friday, at uh, Traverse City Co uh, Top Sh Top Comics is the name of the store. It's. I am hoping and praying that the Dodgers get Otani. That would be uh, phenomenal. I think they, you know, with Kershaw. Is it, is he out? He's injured again, right? So um, having a player, not just a pitcher of his caliber, would be amazing. Mexico City was awesome. Traverse City was awesome. Small city, about 15,000 people, I think. The very top part of Michigan. And uh, um, we were there because, uh, uh, as some of you know, my daughter rides horses. There's horse viruses just like COVID that spread Southern California was becoming sort of a hotbed of this virus if you got it you'd be locked down and there's some sort of national events that my daughter's going to compete in and so the fear was like that our horse would get infected and then you couldn't leave the state get quarantined here and wherever you send it and uh, that will kind of ruin a year's worth of planning and, and work and so we we're looking for places to sort of ship the, the horse to that were safer um, and not as highly infected. Um, and, and Colorado was, was the initial choice, and that's why I agreed to go do Fan Expo in Denver. And then it turned out there wasn't space because a lot of other people had the same idea. So there's just sort of this mad rush to kind of get you know, escape from L.A. or escape from Southern California. And, uh, but anyway, uh, there's a big horse show in Traverse City, Michigan, which I've discovered. It's beautiful up there. I'd never heard of it, but the fishing was awesome. Went out in the lake. Um, there was like a cherry festival. There was a almost kind of state farm type, state fair type thing going on with amusement rides. Although, uh, I found out that if you Google Traverse City, T-R-A-V-E-R-S-E, -E, Google Traverse City Amusement Park Ride, 
mishap or accident. And you'll see last year at this same festival, there was this ride that kind of the pendulum that swing back and forth. And uh, I guess this, the vibration, the movement was knocking it off the screw. The foundation of the ride itself was starting to fall backward, backwards onto its back with people on the ride while it was going. And you see all these people run and they, they uh, basically are trying to hold down this ride. I'm like, oh crap, that, that's, that will, could have been us because we just went on those rides a year later. Anyway, it's probably best not to watch that stuff. Sometimes you, want, you don't want to know how the, the sausage is made or how rides can malfunction or what it looks like when some of these rides like... Um, anyway. Okay, let's finish this off here. Um, yeah, yeah, just Google it. Check it out. It's amazing. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit. Is that better? You can see a little bit more of the, the work itself. This is almost like chainmail. Depends on who's drawing the character. But again, he's a character that can transmute, transform his body into different anything anything. So I'm not even sure what a base costume looks like on a character like this, right? It could be whatever he wants it to be. But a bunch of my kids are cosplaying for San Diego, making their own costumes and all that. So it's a yearly thing. Like most of my kids have been going to Comic Con all their lives. Literally, like this will be the first time River will have Miss Comic Con. She's not going to make it because of this horse virus thing. And uh, but she had gone ten years in a row. I mean, you yeah, know, she's eleven now. Alex, uh, could you tell if this DC Universe Infinite is going to be released outside the U.S.? It has been released uh, in some countries that are uh, English-speaking countries, because obviously we don't have to um, uh, change the interface, translate everything. Uh, th the issues with going international, global, uh, are numerous. Um, uh, but the crux of it, I think, is that the amount of dollars needed to set up a portal for every country language, um, the legal clearances, all the work and money that it costs to basically launch in every new country or territory, um, you know, it, it's pretty significant. And the number of adopters in those countries is is not as high as one would like. So that's made it the challenge it has been. Even in the countries where we released it, outside the US, English speaking countries, it, we have not hit a uh, large number of subs. Either people in that region just want more physical copies versus digital, uh, or the price of subscriptions too high for that marketplace or that economy uh, or just digital consumption in general in those countries uh, might trail you know 
what it is here in the U.S. So there, there are significant uh, hurdles we need to overcome. But yes, the, the ultimate aspiration is to have DCUI, DC Universe Infinite, uh, in every language uh, around the world. I, I, I do think it's, a, it's an amazing value proposition, if I may use some marketing terminology, for what you pay the amount of content you have access to and can read and and um, how of the moment they are because it's not you know day and date with uh, print comics but it's I think it's the lag if you can call it the lag uh, is getting tighter or shorter and shorter over time as, as I think physical retailers sort of understand the this is opportunities to grow our re reader base um, and that it's not necessarily cannibalizing physical sales because I think people that buy physical comics buy it because it is physical it's something that they can collect and hold on to and so a digital version of that short of like what we're doing with DC3 and blockchain comics uh, you know it has not been as established that marketplace it's very nascent as they say it's very new but I think it will I think there is a lot of promise in digital goods uh, there were certainly in my opinion value even before NFTs were a thing if any of you guys play any video games any video game but in particular like MMOs you know getting a a rare digital drop it's very prestigious and people will invest countless hours and dollars to to achieve that the same way they achieve unlocks and achievements in real life right so you know getting a epic weapon in a video game that no one else has there's definitely monetary value there and it's definitely not a physical item that you get Right, so okay. All right, how are we doing on this? Pretty good. Okay. Say so myself. You can see I'm just kind of also going and beefing up lines and just really trying to make things pop. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, one thing I noticed is that it looks a little washed out, the contrast. You're like, don't mess with the gym, don't. Uh... <laughs> Hold on, let me try something here. Your video. Just up that transition just a little bit. That didn't, that's not transition. I made it marginally darker. Okay.
trying to think what else is going at San Diego. Um, got a couple panels. Some news that we're debuting at the panels. Oh, a, a fair number of DC exclusives. Yeah, well, you know what? I didn't mention before because we hadn't announced it. It was a secret. But uh, we're returning to the floor of San Diego Comic Con. Super exciting. It's in that same upper kind of left-hand corner of the floor uh, where Warner Brothers TV and DC used to be before the pandemic. Um, but it is a return. It's going to be a little smaller, uh, but it's all comics, DC comics uh, facing. Although Hero is going to be there, the HRO, the tradable digital cards from Cardamundi. So we're going to be displaying that content. And then McFarlane Toys is also going to have a sort of a pop-up island or booth island within our floor plan. And so that'll be pretty exciting. Have they announced all the panels and the signings and stuff like that? Can I, do you guys know about that? Always hate misspeaking or... Yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm doing a signing with Todd McFarlane at the DC booth. That'll be kind of fun. It's always fun sharing table space with him and just chatting about whatever is on his mind. Are there any panels that you guys are going to? be aware of. There are lottery tickets for your, like you can submit more than one lottery ticket to kind of give you a greater chance of uh, getting access to a signing. Is that how it works? Alexander Alexander Arc 8. Uh, yes, my advice is to um, draw a lot, and that sounds stupid and pithy, and and uh, like I'm making light of the situation. But that is the absolute truth, and that is the easiest thing to remember. It's like, how much are you drawing a day? Because the only way to get better is by drawing. That is the core underlying trait for, I think, or truth for most things. It's like, to get better at anything, you have to do more of it. Experiences is the way. There's no shortcut. There's no matrix download. There's no blue pill, red pill that you can take that will unlock these abilities. It is just done the old fashioned way. You just sit there and draw and learn and draw, well, draw and learn. More like draw and fail then learn through the failing, draw again, fail, learn through the drawing and failing, get better at a couple things, and then realize you still have work to do on other things. You know, look, it's a weird unlock too. Like when you get better at something, you, you discover things that you didn't even know existed. Uh, and you have the more insight, basically, you have to the quality of your work, the more you realize you have a lot of work to go. Is there a simpler way of saying that? Yes. The more you know, the more you know that you don't know. How's that? For some profoundness. Yeah, there's a horror... Mongar. Someone was telling me about some of the... Was it Ryan Benjamin who was telling me? Who was telling me? No, Eddie Choi was telling me, I think. I don't know. The fun thing about Metamorpho is you could screw it up and you could say he's just morphing. He, uh, you know, he didn't want. He didn't want uh, normal human anatomy. That's why one eye is much higher than the other. One leg is strangely bent in an impossible way. 
He's very forgiving. Much the same way, I think, as like uh, Swamp Thing. You know, any sort of monster type character. I'm just darkening this up just because I think it looks better to have like a dark element over here. And I've got these dark shadows on his on his fingers. Anyway, we're going to be selling con exclusives for the first time this year. Getting back to it. Worth a check out. Oh, I guess if I render all that, this is part of it. But I do want to keep it somewhat separated from this. Okay, that's what we got going on. VZA in the house. Uh, how likely to draw interiors again? It's just all about time. That said, I do want to draw. I, I do want to tell the story. So uh, they're not. They're still not mutually exclusive. And when I re-upped my deal. Um, that was part of the conversation. Like, how do I carve out some time, some, some me time, as it were, as a creative? I've yet to do it beyond the covers I've done, but um, we'll get there. There's just a lot going on right now, you know. Pandemus, pandemus. I would love more streams, drawing pages. Yeah, that. Uh, those are very long sessions, but yeah, a good four or five hour where you take sort of a blank page and, and make it into a page of storytelling. That, uh, I do miss that as well. All right, so let's, uh, let's uh, finish this off. This is called the, the smudge technique. Just smudging with your finger very lightly. Um, and your finger prints create a nice texture which resembles smoke. We kind of have to dapple it on little bits and blobs if you want to get that nice sort of gradation of grays. Like core white, middle gray, light gray, right?
No, I should probably draw all my sketches sideways. After almost six years, I'm not necessarily. I only draw figures this way because that's mostly how comic book art's created, right? It's, it's more portrait than landscape. But for the purposes of a stream, after six years, if I just draw landscape, you'll see the whole piece of art. Figures will look smaller, but yeah. Anyway, let me pull this back a little bit so you get a fuller picture of what's going on. It's, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing to still learn things in life. <laughs> Does that make sense? Sure. Humor me. There we go. All right. See more of it. So you got kind of see what's going on down here. And um, we're going to splatter down here. We're going to splatter with a white toothbrush. Lo and behold, white toothbrush. Now I need something to put the ink on. Let's use this old piece of uh, DC board here and uh, get a pool of white out. You dip the, I'm gonna move the, everything around because it gets splattered everywhere. And you want to aim in a certain way which is up so you don't get a directional spray. I want it to kind of come out of the bottom that way. I'm doing it at this weird angle with my fingers because I'm streaming. I would not be holding all these things the same way if I was just doing this without a camera over my shoulder. And I just want to balance kind of what's going on, so I'll have some over here too. And maybe a little right here. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, and crispy egg rolls, that's a metamorpho. I think this one already has a winner, so, uh, yeah, just don't put that toothbrush in your, you, <laughs> your, uh, in your, uh, I was going to say utility bag, but it's called something else. What is it called? Who needs feet? The feet are there. You just can't see them. Toiletry bag. That's it, Trevor Kai. Toiletry bag, yes. Do not put that in your... <laughs> Although your teeth would probably be very kind of white and sparkly on this. I have to get like uh, some sort of cover. Anyway. All right. Um, ten o'clock. We have another hour. Katana from Mortal Kombat. Let's see what. Do uh, every time I think of Mortal Kombat, I think of that sound. <laughs> <laughs> that song for the movie. Mortal Kombat. You know what I'm talking about, right? Sure. We could try this. Why not? 
That's some pretty cool art. A lot of it's fan made too. Sometimes it looks like Ray or uh, Starfire. Sometimes it has like a Psylocke kind of vibe. All right, here we go. Chocolate Hater, hey, I'm 27. Is it ever late to pursue art? Uh, you have one life to live, my friend. Only you can answer that question. <laughs> I hate to be so inscrutable. Uh, I'm sitting at the top of the mountain. You have climbed all the way up to the top. Should I continue? Should I learn? No. You're 27. I have 30 some odd years on you. If you're giving it up now, what are you going to do for the rest of the next potentially 60, 50, 60, 70 years of your life? You're going to spend it regretting that you didn't think about, you know. Tom Clancy wrote, um, uh, um, Bread October, I think that was the name of the movie, or book, Hunt for Red October, anyone Google it, he was 37, he was an insurance salesman, kind of writing on his spare time, and then that, that uh, blew up into a huge career for him, obviously, and he created a whole mini industry of books and novels. Books are novels and video games, what I meant to say. I wish I were 27. I would join the, the NBA. I would. <laughs> I'd be like, it's not too late. My older self would tell the younger self, it's not too late. Go for it. But if you're if you don't think you can do it, you can't do it. I mean that that you it's a self fulfilling promise. Okay, let's uh, let's let's figure out how to draw this character. Kitana. I'll do something gnarly. I wish I could just play the music while I was drawing this character. But I think the YouTube, whatever, you know, the the laws, those pesky things, I don't know, just copyright laws. It, they usually kind of kill the audio or I don't know, it's, it's, it's a hassle. My acapella version, da 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 You have been, you just can't recognize it. That's it. All of you at home. I'm probably missing every third beat. I'm not a musician. Damn it. Will I be adding her fighting fans? It would not be much of a katana sketch if I did not. Alright, done. Alright, let's all like let's start. Alright, ready? One, two, three. We're playing our heads. Da 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 da. Mortal Kombat. Alright. <laughs> uh, I have no time to learn to be a musician. I have answered that question myself. At, at the age of 27, I said to myself, can I be a musician? The answer was no. So that's equally as valid. I knew then 
it was not for me, and it will never be for me. You know what, maybe, I don't know if I want her face looking this way. I'll try something else here. Kind of different. It's like a profile, but it's a slight down profile like this. It's like she's looking at her fingernail. She could still be looking this way, actually. See that eyeball that I just drew? Right? I do have to say, I enjoy drawing. Just even what I'm doing now, I'm like, that was cool, that was fun. Strange, huh? See you later, Killer Kovacs. You laughed out loud in church. Are you in church again? I feel like you're in church more than you are out of church. Uh, let us acknowledge some folks here. Golf Boy Sunday. Oh, no, I already did that. Sorry. Los Definitely Cheer. Thank you very much for the bits. Uh, my Batman R 608 RP came back in 9 8 with all three signatures. That's pretty impressive. That's an expensive book. I think I might own a 9.6 or a 9.4. Please come back to Torpedo Vegas. I spoke to John. I would love a commission. Are you at, at Torpedo Comic Con right now? D. Rogers 95. Happy Steam Day. Sure, why not? Thomas Suck 9. Emperor El Ulrich. Skeletoni Art. Mike Havoc 247. A lot of regulars here. Epic Line 87, Kanger Banger, Book and Red 1442. What are you going to do at Comic Con Book and Red? Who are you going to get signatures from? This will be tough for you. I do not know why I am talking like this. This is Patrick. When it rains, most definitely. SM Cardi 313, Punker 13. I have all subbed in are supporting the stream, making it possible. Thank you. All right. I'll get Spielberg this week at SDS. Nice, nice. People are going, oh, you're not drawing the feet again. All right. Fine. If there were a foot, that's where it would be. People there. This is what the sketches would look like. No, you're right. Not a good look. <laughs> jo jo Jonang30. It's got a very particular type of fetish. Very particular. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. You know what? It just looks like baggy pants. It's actually not too bad. Okay, let's just undo that. Oh, that it would be faster, Command Z. You're right. It would have been much faster. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, why is why can't we see any more? Okay, uh, because when her legs go here, there's a bright light that goes here. And with that bright light, does it go like that? Oh, no, but it goes the other way. I think the bright the shadow goes here. And the background goes lower. Let's try that. Okay, and then she would obviously be casting a shadow. Like that. But it wouldn't be so dramatically off to the side. It would actually be... Uh, something like that. I'll figure it out later. I have to figure it out later. All right. But then, even there, I feel like this is open over here. So what's going to go on over here? Well, we'll find out. Let me let me see what else I have to include here. All right. So these fans. All right. So like. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta do this. I gotta figure this out. Huh? Yeah, okay. Let's try this. Not the most ideal crop, but. Uh, okay, uh, all right, let's see, okay, um, could be more like this. Just figure out. I think on this one I'm going to do something kind of like metamorphosis. So I don't know about that shadow because I've got this weird space over here. So I'm wondering. Like, there's something here. There's like slats. I can kind of go there. There, and then smoke will go behind her. The shadows will kind of blend into the smoke. All right? I kind of like that. Um, but I also see that there are numerous, but uh, which I knew, like uh, these, you know, with all the different games, the costumes keep evolving and changing, and then sometimes fans kind of do their own thing. And then I was invited to do you know, uh, takes on Scorpion and Sub-Zero and one other character, I can't remember which one it did. Um, but 
this mask seems to be a very common thing, which makes it very easy to draw the face, to be honest. And then she's got like a, sometimes it's a headband, sometimes it's like a, a metal piece, like, can someone help walk me through what is canon, like what would be the most iconic version? Raiden was the other one. That's right, KB Bradshaw. Thank you so much. Ah, you are part of my collective memory. I've off, I've, I've, I've off, off boarded a lot of my knowledge onto you. I'm going to ask you, like, what was the first uh, time I drew Wolverine? What, what comic book? I don't remember it, but you guys remember it, so you're... It's a brain that I have to that I can only access when I'm online. But that's all right. That's that's the same with my phone, right? Okay. Uh, helmet. Is there a preferred helmet, headband, or metal crest? I'm seeing some cosplay, some sort of like weird, like or Oriental Asian kind of medallion thing here, and then her hair would coming down like that. But then there's also hair where it's tied in a bun, like this with the knitting yarn kind of thing coming out of it. Oh, this one's kind of cool, but I also realized some of the stuff is fan made, designed, so it's not actually the costume for the character. Poop Kid, just do the headband. Poop Kid's, you know, he's, Poop Kid just lays it straight. Like, don't waste your time with that stuff. Just do the basic. Come on. Turn it into silence. <laughs> uh, Francis Pet, yes, you are Jim, you're part of Jim's chat GPT. That's true. Why bother memor mem remembering any of this when other people remember it for you? doing this kind of headband and then the mask she had this mask before COVID right same with same with thing I think right 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 they knew what was up I think this is fan made but I do like this version of the costume here This is the right version. But you know, I think if I just get close, no one will know because there's so many different versions. I, I could go in and, and noodle some, some weird funky armor there. So this costume I'm going to draw is just sort of an amalgam of different looks. Oh, look, you can, there's a Halloween version you can wear. Got it. Hmm. Okay. But then there's one that's more of a one piece. Is it a one piece or two piece? Different in every game, says VZ, VZA to house. Okay. 
one piece or two piece? I'm asking my the collective memory units. <laughs> CMUs. It's two piece at summer. Can you guys not agree on one thing? <laughs> that is the crux of reality. We can't all agree on one thing. I mean, it really is amazing. VZA in the house made the suggestion. Google Katana 2011. 2011, March 23rd. That was the moment that Katana imparted on my consciousness. Fourth image down, third column over. Uh, okay, let's look. Yeah, this is the two piece. This is uh, this is the one that uh, I gravitated towards as well. Although she's got the the thong versus like the cloth thong over the three piece, four piece. I don't know, whatever. All right. There we go. Happy now? I'm going to make her draw a line a little softer. And right now we're making aesthetic choices. All right. Short hair, long hair. And then it looks like the the claws like that. So what I want to do with this other fan, so I'm turning the hand. The reason why I did it before is uh, sometimes you forget kind of where the the hand is facing when you move your limbs, right? So if her arm is out like this and her fist is cocked back like that because she's holding the fan and the camera is over <laughs> over here and you can see the bottom of those fingers and this fan would go back into space like that. I'm thinking. What I like about that is it frees up the hair up there. I can actually put it back where it should be instead of faking it off to the side here. Put the needle threads over here. Let's take a look at it backwards through the light. Yeah. It's coming along. Maybe a little more. Okay. Oh, we got some sub activity. I think the whole stream, this whole chat, should cosplay as Katana. All of us should come in Katana gear, and then there'll be a contest to see who did it best. Let's meet up in front of the convention, sign C on, on, on a Saturday at 11 o'clock. <laughs> uh, Zoom in, please. Sure. Let's let's try it that analog way. So you can see, I'm letting the pencils dry.
Hope you're feeling better. This is Patrick. Chesonum Chesan Ches Chosenanempt. Your your handle sounds like a drug reduction <laughs> a uh, fat reduction shot of Zempic. Chosenempt? What? All right. I uh, pencil's dry. Okay, here we go. All right. So, um So then the light's coming here. So then the shadows will be like boom 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 boom. Okay. I think I've got it all figured out. Bold statement. I've got it all figured out. I've heard that many a time. Okay. We're going to move her eye. All right. Here we go. So a relatively smaller marker, not an 8, not an 8, not a 005, too small. A 1. Let's try a 1. Have I done anyone from the Mortal Kombat uh, over the years on stream? Yep. There. You just saw me ink off screen. That's the beauty of it. So what happens is when the head is tilted down like that, like, um, okay, if this is the head, uh, that's the head, let me see if I can do this right here. It is tilted down and to the side. So let me see if I can do this right. Let me see if I can do this. Hmm. No. Too hard to do. Let's see if I can. Okay, look at this. All right. That red center line is the nose. All right. This is two eyes right there. So straight on the eyes are the same. So I'm taking the head here and I'm tilting it uh, down and to the that way. <laughs> Do it reverse. No, other way, other way. There we go. You can see, right? So if you look at it, the eyes are indented into the bottle. So this eye that's further this eye that's further away, it's actually indented, sorry, this eye that's further away from the camera. Is in, so it's kind of hidden behind this nose, right? So that's why it's kind of way in there. Okay. And then here's the And then we'll have her look at the camera. Okay. 
and uh, I'm not looking at reference anymore so I'm gonna make it my own thing at this point imagine this were my deviant art page and uh, this is what what man even crazier think about if I were a kid today and a Mortal Kombat fan and I was trying to break into the business and I wanted to kind of showcase my art I'd probably be like yeah I'm gonna draw her but I'm gonna draw her kind of like my own way Now I'm getting hungry. I'm starting to think about what I'm going to eat for lunch. What about you all? How did I do this and read stream at the same time? That's the hardest part. Cherry ice cream and Fruit Loops for my lunch. I don't know if that's very hot. <laughs> I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure that's not the healthiest. KB Bradshaw. We all know that he's going to get a crustable. Yeah, but the question is, strawberry or grape? I'm going to tell you, those crustables, they started off good. Over time, the quality of them have... More often than not, you get like that hard edge. I don't know what's going on. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's move up to a um, 0.5 marker. And uh, let's take a look at some more reference. Got it, got it. things seem to just sort of, I thought there were loops, but they're not. Can you see this? I'm not sure you can see this. All right.
Okay. I'm taking the gold trim and actually making the, the bands across her breasts there gold. I'll have to wipe that and fix that up. Just adding some detail. It's my own of my own design. Hello, Wolfie San. Thank you, Goblet Wielding. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish Zoom out, yes, I can. Hello, not a real Viking, welcome in. some people I have to acknowledge here. Mm -hmm. I thought there was, there was, uh, oh there it is, there's the window. 
Uh, Raceland uh, 0001 has resub. Thank you very much. Three months in a row. Sketch 22. How oh, time flies. Uh, I think that's it. Just those two. Okay. The hedge the hex bags uh, that we'll have at San Diego. The hex backpack has created four uh, new bags. The first ones, there was like a blue Batman and a yellow Batman. These have uh, different pieces of art. There's one from the Joker 80th year anniversary cover, the Batman v Superman Empire magazine cover. Uh, I think one of the um, as a piece from a charity auction that I did for Batman that's used because uh, that was a very striking black and white image that would work well for a backpack and a um, what was the oh uh, a uh, Batman Catwoman cover I believe that was also used no no Batman sorry Deadly Duo Batman Joker from the Mark's Vestory book so those are the See what kind of leg detail. You know what's interesting is that um, the, the earlier designs are a little simpler because they couldn't put as many details right into the um, right because the video graphics, uh, the memory cards like the computers could not just handle as much detail by techno technology limit because of technology limitations the costumes were simpler and then. As the games got and technology and the and the rigs got more advanced, they could accommodate more textures, de design elements, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm drawing on frame here. Okay, yes.
that lilac crest is so important. What lilac crest? <laughs> Hold on, let me look. I don't even know what a lilac looks like. Lilac or Illac? What crest are you guys able to... Iliac crest, yes, okay, yes, the Iliac crest, okay, lilac crest, I'm like, uh, you're talking about the crest that's like a, it's a circle with like a cross in the middle, is that it? Or is it the circle crest with the dragon, a side view of the dragon? Iliac equals hips, I am lost. Uh, I'm waiting for you. Iliac crest. Oh, the Iliac crest in the hips. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, uh, I, I, I assume you mean this, this line here. Those lines. I'm so confused. <clears throat> yeah. Just want to lengthen our hair just a little bit more over here. There we go. Okay.
Okay, and then I'm going to put the gold trim on the headband there. Little details make the costume, I think, pop a little bit more. It's more work drawing the trim than just kind of drawing a single line for the headband. But it's worth that extra investment of care and time. See you, Wolvie son. Jim Lee, the reason I joined Twitch now, it's full of dancing bear streams. Is it? <laughs> That's disappointing. Oh boy. That's true, KB Bradshaw. I am a ways away from being done. Uh, I'll tell you what has to be done still. Um, although it's 11. Oh, boy. This one asked me about the tangent, hit the shoulder or whatever. I, I think it will resolve itself out because... Um, I think, because this fan, is in front of it. I think it all kind of just blends together there. It's, there's a lot going on there, so that tangent, in my mind, is not as Egregious? Uh, egregious? Is that the word? I don't know. You don't notice it. There's just a lot going on there with the hair, the shoulder, the fan, um, particularly the hair. Like if you if you notice, if I as I render this hair, it's really gonna. Um, you're not gonna see a lot going on because of all the different elements that are going on right there. This might be black, but I'm going to start with the dark gray because it's easier to start with cross hatching than it is to put white white out back in and re do it from like it's it's easier doing what I just did than it is to go all black and then realize you know what I, I don't need black there because it's going to compete with all the hair. So which I'm going to take the black. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I'm not going to finish this because uh, uh, the stream is going to come to an end. But uh, I was talking to mods, to the mods, and rather than a the traditional Beko de, <laughs> Beko, no, Buca de Beppo meetup, which is what we've traditionally done, might meet at uh, a room at a hotel and uh, live stream Sunday from the con. Although, I gotta make sure I, my hotel's I'm, I'm booked through Monday, actually. I don't know. Oh boy, I gotta find that out. Once I figure that out, um, check the Discord channel out. Uh, it, it's for subs, so it will be in that section of the Discord channel. But um, the aspiration, okay, is to take this sketch and finish it um, live from San Diego Comic Con with uh, those of you who are going to be there in attendance. And then uh, we'll probably do um, a silent auction 
for this one. But we'll also have a free giveaway. So next stream we'll have a free giveaway of something simple, but this will be, I think, a live auction. I think. We'll see. Okay? Uh, subject to change, but that's the aspiration. Um, so look for news about a stream uh, this upcoming Sunday. All right? We are going to go uh, go raid someone here. And uh, the way we do that is uh, we just hang on. The, no additional work on your ha behalf. Um, but if you could just hang out. First off, let me thank our mods, Kirihiko. Mod Prime, Kirihiko. Crispy Egg Roll. And uh, Poop Kid for being here and moderating all this. Always certainly exciting to see them. We are all going to be live at Comic-Con with a bunch of you all. And uh, if we can get the technology to work, how cool would it be to actually stream from there? But in the meantime, we are going to uh, go do a raid. A, a raid is where we take all the people that are watching the stream. There's like 640 of you all. And we're going to go um, drop in on another creative, say hi, show them some love, and um, kind of share our passion for, for art in general and give them a bit of a surprise. So hang in there, please. We'll jump there in a couple seconds here as uh, the raid count continues up. It looks like we're going to dump about 500 people. Once it hits 500, I'll hit it. 502. Let's do it. Otherwise, I'll see a bunch of you at Comic-Con. Take care. Thanks for tuning in.